Hi, this is Greg with Traeger Grills. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble your new Traeger Ridgeland Grill. Now when you get your grill, you're going to see it comes in two boxes. There's a large box which contains the grill, then there's the smaller box which has two 20 pound bags of pellets. Okay, so let's unpack our grill and get started. Okay, we've unpacked our grill. Most of the grill components were located inside the grill, so you can actually set them aside right for now. Next thing I want you to do is refer to your assembly guide. And also make sure that you have your assembly kit, which is actually all of your nuts, your bolts, your washers, and even your tools. And lastly, if you have a friend that can maybe help you out, it just makes building the first couple steps of the trigger a little bit easier. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna install the side handle. Now, I just want you to notice the bolt and the washer, in this case, are already on the handle. So we're gonna spin these off real quick before we install them onto the grill. Okay, so we're gonna open up our lid. We're gonna go on to the inside. Our bolt and our washer on the inside. And we're gonna line them up with the hole. And we'll just kind of twist it on right now to get it in place. We'll do the other side and we'll tighten them both up with our wrench. Okay, you're gonna notice that I turned the grill upside down and I actually have a wood pellet bag behind me and it's keeping it kind of nice and level and stable for me, it's great. So we're gonna install the legs now. You can see, they're all number and color matched right here. So we're gonna install the first leg right here. It just slips right in. By the way, the wheel sides go on the hopper side and then the other the ones without the wheels go on this side. And when you're installing these, you wanna make sure that you've got the uh, screw holes facing inside. All right, now we're gonna install the bolt. First off, we put a flat washer right on there. We're gonna install it and pair up the holes right here. Push it right. Now I'm gonna add my flat washer, my lock washer, and then I'm gonna add my bolt. And I'm gonna use my wrench and my Allen wrench to tighten this up. And then we'll continue with all four legs. Okay, as you can see, we have all four of our legs on. Now the last step is we're gonna put our leg braces on. Uh, it's got the Traeger logo on here, that's nice. Now remember, the grill's upside down, so we're gonna put this on upside down. There's four screws, and all you're gonna do is screw them right in here. They're already lined up. And we're gonna use our screwdriver. Now we're gonna do the other three screws, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the other side as well. Okay, now we're ready to install the chimney. All you need to do is take the thermal gasket right here, match it up with the holes right here, and then we've got a bolt and a washer on this side. And all we're gonna simply do is push it right through the holes. Now we're gonna add our washer and our bolt on both sides. And we're gonna tighten that up with our wrench. Okay, the last thing we need to do is just spin on our chimney cap. And we're all set. Okay, now we're gonna install the front handle right here, just like the side handle. The bolt and the washer are already on the uh, handle, so take those off real quick. Okay, we're gonna take our bolt and our washer, put it through the holes right here, match it right up with the handle. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and do the other side, and then we'll tighten it up with our wrench. Now we're gonna install the brackets for our shelves. you are gonna come over here on the left side. You'll see we're gonna put the left bracket on. We're gonna remove these two screws right here. All right, now we're gonna pair up these two holes with these right here. We'll remove the screws. Simply place them right back in. And we'll tighten them back up with our screwdriver. And we'll repeat this process on the other side. Okay, now we're ready to install our shelf. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take one of our screws, put in that lower part right there, and notice these screws are not gonna go all the way in. They're not supposed to, okay? So we're gonna put our lower one in. The top one goes in. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. Okay, I'm just tightening up the last screw. There it is. And our shelf. It's up, down, just like it's supposed to. Next, we've got our hopper guard, which we're just gonna put right in the hopper. You'll notice there's four holes on either corner. We're just gonna add one of the screws on either corner and we're all set. Now we're gonna add their internal components to the grill. Now the first thing we're gonna add is the deflector. And notice, on both sides of there, these are notched out. So they're gonna fit right in here. We have a notch on either side of our fire pot. And it sets right in, just like that. All right, next thing we're gonna add is our drip tray. Now notice, this thinner side, we're gonna do on the left side by the hopper. It's gonna rest right on this edge right here. Put it in, that's it. Now we're gonna add our grill grate. Simply slide it right on in here. 
Okay, next we're gonna add our interior upper rack. So just slide that right in there. We've got four holes right here for each corner. This is gonna sit right in. All right, last but not least, we're gonna add our drip bucket. We're gonna plug in our Traeger, we're gonna add our wood pellets, and we're ready to cook.